The residents of Adamawa State have cried out over the removal of fuel subsidy while calling on President Tinubu to consider the sufferings of Nigerians. The residents, however, described the removal of fuel subsidy as wickedness, assured the Nigerian Labour Congress of their readiness to support the nationwide strike slated for Wednesday. They, however, appeal to commuters to consider the plight of the masses by reducing the transport fare within and outside the state capital. Sincere, we're really surprised. What the masses really was expecting was uh, a welcoming, uh, maybe party from the new government. But to be sincere, for this time, first and foremost, we, we love the subsidy, removal of the subsidy. It's a good idea. But he, just, he can't just come in the very first day and remove the subsidy. People are suffering. Presently, people are really, really suffering. There's a place from Jimeta to Yola in Adamao State. People pay 100 Naira. Presently, people pay 600 Naira from Jimeta to Yola. Things just skyrocketed immediately. Today, anywhere you go within the city of Jimeta, things are just terrible. We don't know how we will survive this country. We believe removing the subsidy is a good idea. But removing it immediately on its first day is not really good. There's no palliative for people to take care of themselves to prepare for the removal of the subsidy. He just came in like that. It's not a good idea to be sincere. You could have told people, I will remove this subsidy at this particular time. We love his action. We love his sincerity. But you could have let people prepare. Let people know what they are going to face. First government to reduce the price. This price that you used to sell is too cost. Because customers are complaining. So if possible, please and please. So we got our request to get so I came with the hope of buying uh, 199. Here in the first session that I had is 550. I don't know where we're heading. I don't know where we're heading. I don't know who I'm asked to give the answer for this. Where are we to do? Then in Nigeria, 550. Well, I pray for good. That it is coming from the marketers or from the new government. If it is from the marketers, you can say that they are not fair to the government. But if it is from the government, we can say that they are not fair to the masses. This policy is very, very demoralizing. It's a hopeless policy. The only subsidy, the, I mean the only assistance or relief the government is going to the, to the masses is this subsidy that's subsidizing the fuel. That is, that's why we are able to drive this cars. But with the removal of this subsidy, I, I don't know how, whether we shall, we shall just stop, I mean, park the cars at our, at our houses. It's very demoralizing. Now, as I was passing, I just saw there is no line here, no queue. I told they are sitting at 190 or 220 highest. To my surprise, when I entered the queue, they are saying it is 550. So I can see many customers getting, when they heard about the price, they are getting out of the queues, out of the queues, they are moving on. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.